Hi, Cindy Blake here with GitLab to talk about application security testing using the GitLab application. So um, before I jump into a demo though, I think it's good to remind everyone in case you didn't see the overview demo um, of the scope of what we do. So we offer all of these um, application security scans, whether it's static, dynamic, dependency scanning, um, container scanning and license management, all within the GitLab application. And they're run for every code commit automatically. And that's really the key. That's different than any application security vendor can do because we're one application uh, from beginning to end of the software development life cycle. We can allow you to help you do things that you couldn't do any other way. And let me dig in just a little bit further. So you know, a lot of people are trying to shift left. We actually can help that more than anyone. Um, let me explain. So when the code is committed, for every little change that's committed, that, that code is um, scanned and tested automatically. The results then come back to the developer. Even dynamic scanning comes back to the developer there in their environment. So, um, and, and the way that it's done for, for dynamic is that a review app is spun up upon code commit, and that's a full working application. Um, the dynamic scanning is run against that, and those results, along with the other security scans, come into the pipeline report. I'm going to show you a demo of that here in just a minute. The developer then can remediate those or dismiss them after looking at them um, or can choose to, you know, uh, simply continue. The, the vulnerabilities that they can't deal with then are what the security folks are going to see. So there's an opportunity to dramatically reduce the number of vulnerabilities that the application security folks have to deal with and at the same time empower your developer to remediate things while they're fresh on their mind, while they're right there in their ID, in their workflow, they don't have to break, come back to it a week later when they've already gone on to another project. Um, everything is right there for them. So let me show you an example. This is a pipeline report from a merge request. And what you see here is, oops, I will collapse this. You can see here's a summary. Uh, the scans detected these vulnerabilities. License management detected some new licenses. Um, if I expand this, I'm gonna see my static results right here. Um, this one's quite vulnerable. Um, has, and, and these are listed in order of uh, risk severity, um, as well as my dependency scanning, my container scanning, and my, my dynamic scanning, all here in one place. I don't have to go to different places. I don't have to stitch together different tools. I don't have to buy a uh, security center in order to pull all my different tests together in one dashboard. Um, everything is right here in one place for me. Now let's say I want to drill down a little bit and uh, you know I've got uh, this vulnerability I want to see more about it. Here's the really powerful thing from right here I can not only learn more about it but I can dismiss it or create an issue. So it goes right back into the issues uh, issue board with with GitLab and everything is handled in one workflow. Now let's say uh, someone's already, you know, I've already found this issue and uh, found this vulnerability and, and uh, created an issue. Then I'm going to get the option to view the issue because we've already found it. So this is really simplifying the workflow um, both for the developer and for the security professional and reducing the friction between all of these different individual pipes, uh, you know, uh, I shouldn't use the word pipeline, in between these um, individual silos and uh, really helping you speed that development cycle. Now, a couple other things I want to show you. Um, I can look at it from the uh, security dashboard standpoint. Over here I've got the dashboard and what you see is similar report today, um, SAS, DAS, container scanning and so forth all in one place, but this is across projects. Okay, so this is the, the vulnerabilities that the individual developer couldn't resolve. 
this is what the uh, application security person needs to focus on. And again, they can drill down, they can, uh, same functionality there. Now here's the, another really cool thing. We are 100% transparent. So on our webpage, you can find our security vision, talks about um, you know, the, the security paradigm, how we believe we can help speed development and not make security a roadblock to that. Um, as well as you know, our vision for where we're headed with, with uh, security products. Now, we go a step further that you won't find with any other vendor, and that is all of our, our roadmap, our projects, they're all out here. Um, so we are improving our security dashboard. Uh, what I showed over here, this is our uh, MVC or MVP, Minimal Viable Product. That is our first round, um, uh, first release. And right here, we are showing what we're doing to improve it. So it's got all of the, um, you know, even the design of what it will look like. So you can keep track, you can even contribute. We invite you to contribute and make comments. Um, so I hope that um, you found this demo useful. If you're interested in learning more, you can contact sales.